some time ago uh, just decided to give it all up you know go in feet first and just take the plunge and sell everything and buy a narrowboat and cruise the network and after about a year or so I decided to start filming it and put it on YouTube and stuff like that and it's become unsuccessful and rubbish so don't watch it pointless Wait patiently in the lock. Big lock, big lock. I hold the rope tight to prevent me from drifting. The lock starts to fill. I'm still here, waiting patiently. Oh, right. oh, I can't do this anymore, that voice. Anyway, I'm here, look. I'm landing. There we are. Here we Made it. Beauty rippers. This is quite a nice mooring. I'm just moored just there, look. Lovely little place, isn't it, eh? Nice moorings. Got facilities. You've got pump out water. Al San. Got this gorgeous old building here, look. What's this all about, eh? It's a bit run down, doesn't it? that place. Wow. Marbury is it? Mul Marbury? Oh, look it up. Welcome to Neyburn Lock. Ah, oh, it's not Marbury. Neyburn Lock sites on the east, sits on the east bank of the River Ouse, four miles south of York. Quick history, Neyburn. It's a great place to visit, relax and feel part of nature, but it once played a key role in the development of York. The first lock was built in 1757 and was one of the earliest examples of canal engineering. A small complex incorporating a workshop, office, lockkeepers' cottages, stables and banqueting hall followed. In 1888 a second lock was built alongside the original one. This new lock allowed large freight barges to travel through York. Wow. Well, it's two locks, look. We come, in, we come in that massive lock, didn't we? You got a smaller lock. And, got, and they're not using that, I don't think. And the bigger lock over there. Wow. Amazing. And it's all below here, it's all tidal. Above here, it's not so tidal, you know. It's nice, isn't it, eh? Well, that building there. Banqueting Hall. In 1823-24, Banqueting Hall was built by the trustees of the Ouse Navigation at a cost of 2,742. Uh, today's 2,742 2 2.391 million or 100,000 in 2017. Today's money. It designed in the Greek Revival style as a committee meeting place, restaurant, private residence. It's more like a, it's more like a, a meeting place for the uh, Freemasons, isn't it? Very strange. Very strange, Rippers. Yeah. Nice here. Nice evening. Cold. Got the fire on full blast because it's freezing. Right, let's get back. Nice mornings, aren't they? Look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? How gorgeous. No wind. It's a beautiful evening. Lovely. Mmm, look outside. I'll do some exercises. I get dead embarrassed about exercising. I've got bed here. My hair's all over the place. I ain't got much of it left anyway, to be honest. I heard a boat leaving this morning then early, about seven o'clock. Oh, it's cold out here. Oh, right, I'm going to do some stretching on the path before anybody wakes up so I don't get embarrassed. Hey? 
So imagine working here night and day, you got the bellows. Right, so the, the bellows, they were belt driven and some, manual if you're just doing small jobs. So some five year old like that, whoosh, with his dad, going whoosh on the old, like they're going ten to the dozen, wouldn't they? Because they years and years of blackness in there. Well, like I said, I mean, there used to be a big hood. You used to sit on the pins there, so they brought it right out here. Yes. And you're just working from the side. Wow. That is amazing. But yeah, we used to. You used to use this stuff. Oh, did you? Well, oh, it's just old. What's that? It's a hydraulic pump. Oh, it's a hydraulic pump, yeah. Basically, for the lock, if power goes down, you <coughs> can still open sluices and stuff. Oh, right. All oh, right. So yeah. it's manual. So you, so you bolt that on and use it manually. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if your power's totally gone down, you got butts in lock, then you can operate those winches manually, but it's yeah. like a big cog, small cog, and it's hard work. You know, you've done it, it makes your chest burn. <laughs> Wow, this is where it is. That's a big pillar drill. Yeah. That's a drill in massive, 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 right massive down holes. To, I don't know, five, ten mil. Wow. Where you just put reducers in. And you've got the belts for different gear ratios. Yeah, yeah. And basically, that's your drag shaft up top. And that's run off with our steam so or? Donkey engine. Well, originally it used to be. Uh, but or water. Like, no, no. We put a dunk engine up there, but originally, I think it, I would have had its own steam motor. Wow, this is a lathe. Side of the building. That is a lathe, isn't it? That's for doing massive. That's for doing big drilling right down. Oh yeah, big big stuff. Crikey! And the old uh, grinder there for sharpening all your tools up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got like a polisher and a. That bench. Down. That bench has been used for. Hundreds probably of years, isn't it? Yep. It's worn out. Wow. We taps and dies look. Yep. Bloody hell, look at them beauties. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love tools. I'm a tool maniac. Wow. That stone's still, still got oil on it. There used to be people sort of like milling about with those that have been told at back at bikes, sharpening knives and a Sunday reason. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Bros, makers, Hepton Bridge. Imagine lifting that thing in here. Well, I say that, that, that shoots backwards and forwards, hence the hole in the wall. So as, it, as it's running, it's, it's reaming out, making... Oh, it's, it's breaking channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For like your... It's a keyway cutter. Yes, keyway cutter, that's it, yeah. Wow. Oh, I love it. So there'd be a steam engine on that belt driven, yeah, so I suppose. The steam engine would have been here somewhere. Probably later on diesel, I'd imagine yeah, big old yeah, diesel. Maybe, yeah. But what confuses me... The horse, but even horse, horse drawn, maybe? Yeah, no. Yeah. No. So you, you wouldn't have had the... No, the speed. The speed. Yeah. yeah. I think they were robbed from somewhere else, because they're gas lamps. Oh, but, the lamps over there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you, if you look at the lamps, you, you can see on and off switch. Oh, right. Well, so can someone, I, somebody come and light it? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's well, a little I'd lighter. The only gas that's piped here and is, is basically big bottom end of Fulford. So I would imagine that would have been a settling or something like that. Mm, oh, yeah. That's a weird building there, isn't it, as well? That's a strange... Yeah, that It's more like a temple, doesn't it, than a, it, that was a the coffee shop. That was the Foster Trustees Committee Rooms, built yeah. by Yacht Corporation. About Cost them 18, 2.7 million or something, yeah. isn't it? To build that? Good yeah. God. Well, two meetings there, then realised it was too far out, yeah. <laughs> Classic out money wasters like we've got now, mate. Full well, of them. End of day, still hey, barbel fishing here, look, eh? Hit your barbel rod down there. Big size six hook. Apparently there's big trout and salmon in here. Told. Oh, look at that, look. This is the later, later add-on. Below there's tidal, but above there it's all leisurely, leisurely stuff, eh? Nice. Got these sculptures over the place, look. Oh, that's what you find in here, look. Oh, big salmon. Ooh, eel. Caught loads of those. Pike. And we've got fish and eel passes, look. They go up. Mmm, nice. You've got Neyburn's wildlife, you've got kestrels, you've got barn owls, mm. herons. Swallow, somebody texting me. Pipistrel bats. Mm. Mm. Who's neighbouring? It's a great place to watch many different birds, including swifts and martins, sand martins, swallows, 
house martins they can be seen flying over the water catching insects to feed their young. This lectern also shows a barn owl and pipistrel bat. It's called a lectern is it? There's no way. There's your barn owl and there's your bat. Oh no, the vikings are coming. This lectern, these, these things are called lecterns, a great name. Shows an example of a Viking longship that would have sailed rivers and coastal waters. Wow. Mm, coming up the coast, taking slaves. They used to take slaves, didn't they? English slaves and take them back. That's a nice little spot. A great little fishing spot there. Isn't it? Mm. So now to York. To a cruise. Oh, so nice here, isn't it? Just want to stay here for a bit. Lovely. Got to come back anyway, so. Now that's a cruiser. Hey, plumbing heck. We got tansy beetles. I think I might have seen those. Little damselflies and dragonflies. Oh, that's the difference. That's damselflies, is it? Ah, oh, that's dragonflies. And you got Tesco. Wait a minute. It's not now. You ain't got Tesco. Hey. What's all that about? On to lovely York. Oh, it is lovely, hey? All these gorgeous boats, proper, expensive quality boats. Not like me, common as more council boat. You know, council funded run boat. Not like me, common. Oh, don't put yourself down, well, I'm just joking, you know what I mean? Lovely day. Oh, that wind's picked up already. Can't get away from it, can you? Hey? Man, I keep saying this. I do feel really blessed to be honest. I'm still gonna have a rant now and again. 
something rather special about the rivers this time of year I've always been attracted to the rivers even as a young lad I'd go up to the canals and the rivers I'd, I'd, I'd play off school you know I'd sign in at school and then I'd go out the door sneak off up to the, the lakes and rivers I'd spend the day there talk to the fishermen the fishermen would say oh, why aren't you at school so it's closed today. All right, then is and I'll show you how to tie a knot. <laughs> Catch that carp. Uh, no. That was my uh, that was my school. The rivers and the canals. Loved it. Hated school. Wasn't a school kid. Never liked the uh, indoctrination of it. I never liked the. Um, I just didn't like it. Something I couldn't tell you what it was. But I just didn't like feeling of it this this churn out the kids churn them out teach this teach that repeat it back to us get your grades here pat on the back here off you go into the world repeat repeat get your certificates and then but it's even worse now because you get to massive debt massive debt I don't know what it's all about weird this I've got a shirt on today I've got my old scruffy old I've got my scruffy old uh, cardigan, but I've got a shirt on. It's still nice though, isn't it? It's lovely. This engine seems to love that 1400 RPM. It purrs away, look. If I didn't do all that work I've done to it, I wouldn't be doing this purring away, it'd be all kinds of problems. It's worth it in the long run, you know. Peace of mind. Gorgeous day, gorgeous area. All these beautiful boats. It's about right there, isn't it? Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! We got uh, Simfire next to it. There are some bloody expensive boats here, you know. Oh, Mouth watering, eye watering prices half million a million pound boats you know wow and that boat reminds me of the one on jaws you know when he scratches that when he scratches that chalkboard he goes i'll get you a shark for you i'll get you a shark all showing each other scars that's a good good film cracking not like the films nowadays the films nowadays have gone really weird i can't watch them they're so strange do you agree What do you do when you're dying for a wee and you're cruising along on a river? You can't just pull over. I suppose I could flop it out over the side. Well, not flop it. Try and find it first. Try and pull it out more like, like a little maggot. <laughs> and then to, then try and not wee on my trousers, trying over the side. And there's always a dog walker watching you. And you think, oh God, you get really embarrassed. You have to put it away while he's still trying to wee. You have to hold it and then it all dribbles down your leg. Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Boating, weeing, boating. Ah, no. Time for a wee though. Oof. Got another hour left. What a gorgeous section of river. It's very, very calm. It's very beautiful. Oh, I continue to keep saying the same thing over again. What, what more can I say? Get a dictionary out. Start using really long, posh words that no one knows the meaning of. It's like a sculpture in itself, that is, isn't it? Look at that. Looks like a castle there, isn't it? Or some room or something. Big massive bearings on there. Beautiful. That guy's got a bloody car up there, look. And he's, he's got a rover, he's spraying it, the looks of it. Bloody Nora. A tugboat. Wow, look at that. Tugboat.
love about it like that? Because I, I think I'd love one like that. I'd have to use it though, I'd have to go over the sea to France and stuff like that. That's me. No, look at that now, look, the sun's gone in. And look, at, it's supposed to be sunny today. The sun's gone in. Ooh. Where do you find these boats, you know? Where, where do you find them? That's a serious boat, isn't it? Where did you get them from? I'd like to uh, I'd like to play it for you if you don't mind listening it's about six minutes long here we go rippers Day. If, I, if a 
they only could talk. Church, old church there, ruined church. 